Tina from Short Me Tina here, and I'm interrupting this video to give you a PSA. If you're watching this video, I can conclude you're either a trader or an investor looking to make money in the stock market. If any of those statements are true, then you're going to want to do two things. One, sign up for our free newsletter as we discuss tips and secrets on how to make money in the stock market. And two, check out our watch list. It's released every Sunday night for free. They contain a handful of stocks I think can make everyone, including you, money. Now back to the regular scheduled program. It's Short Me Tina here once again from shortmetina.com. Doing a really quick video recap for ticker HM and why right now what you're looking at is a daily chart dating back to around July of 2018. So the chart is only about a month old. Uh, I'm not going to look back because sitting here at two cents, we can only imagine what happened with the stock, right? So to put that in perspective, before pre-split, pre uh, 52 week high was $9,715, okay? Pre-split. 52-week high was $9,715. Right now, we're sitting here at $0.02, cents, right? Why anyone wants to trade this at this point, I don't know. If you still have shares and you never let, you never, you didn't let go of them because for some reason you just held on to them, that's fine. Hold on to these shares, but, you know, stop. You have to move on from ticker HMNY because, again, at this point, it looks like the story is over. We're trading here at $0.02. Cents. We continuously make lower lows. Um, and today we have this huge red candle on above average selling, right? Average volume for ticker HMNY is about 40 million. Today we traded about 215 million. So that tells you that the selling here is real. I did a video on this on Friday, theme essentially the same. It's saying that, look, put this one in the books in terms of lessons. Um, if you're sitting on a major loss or if you average down, you kept adding to the position that the stock went down or, you know, as they say, throwing good money after bad. If you didn't cut your losses soon enough, like these are all lessons um, that we've all went through at one point or another. So it's it's not necessarily making these mistakes um, that is tremendously harmful because you learn from your mistakes. It's repeating them that can be tremendously harmful. So if you're still trying to catch that, you know, if you're still trying to average down here at two cents, throwing good money after bad when there's a ton of stocks in the market that are moving, then you might want to reevaluate sort of like your trading philosophy or how you approach the markets. Because a lot of professionals, including myself, will say um, it's not necessarily good to continuously throw good money after bad, right? There might be special circumstances where you might do that, but even so, you do it within a framework, you definitely cap it. You don't just blindly uh, throw good money after bad. So, I'm doing this video because there's a lot of people for some reason still very heavily invested in ticker HMNY. I'm not going to tell you not to invest. You're going to do what you want to do at the end of the day. But I am saying to maybe step away, give yourself some time, and then come back with a quote unquote, as much as you can, objective view on the ticker. So just to do a little bit of technical analysis, um, like I indicated Friday, you're going to have your pops, but all your pops, as you can see, have been sold, sold. All the pops have been sold. Um, so today we uh, massive selling above average volume sitting here at two cents. I think we're going to go to about one cent based on the chart and then you might get a little bit of a pop, but I wouldn't even try to catch that bounce, right? There's absolutely no reason to try to catch the bounce in this. You give the chart some time. to if, the, if there is a fighting chance for this company, you'll see it reflected in the chart. Give the chart some time and the company some time to stabilize, okay? Um, and if you're looking for trade ideas, like I indicated before, I release uh, my Sunday night watch list for free every single Sunday. I've been doing this since I started Short Me Tina. So it's going on about two years. No, it's over two years. It's actually going on three years. I think next year, February, will make three years. So for three years straight, every Sunday I release a, wa a watch list. Just go to shortmetina.com, click on Swing Trading Watch List, and you will see some stocks that I'm looking at. So for example, GLW, I, I think the stock is setting up. It's about to move hugely. Uh, full disclosure, full disclosure, all these stocks here are stocks that you know we're currently in within the community and they've all provided us profits, right? So we definitely did take HMNY as a trade, but you know, we tend to cut our losses, we allocate accordingly. And so the name of the game is to let your winners run and ensure that your losses are capped. So despite being um, 
down on HMNY, we treated it as a speculative pick. So we didn't throw a whole bunch of money into it. We surely didn't, you know, average down into it, right? And um, and then with these huge winners, we're allowed to edge out positively, right? So GLW, we got in around 28, 29. Stock is up, um, it's trading at like $33. So we've made about $4 per share on that. Let's look at ticker UAA. Again, we got into this trade around 15. It went all the way up to around 24, went back down to like 16. And I think that's when I added it for free on this watch list. It's trading at around $20 now. So that would have been 4 to $5, even if you weren't a part of the premium member community. AMC, same thing. We got into this trade around, I want to say, 15, 16. Stock was most recently trading at $19, right? Um, and I still have a price target of 20. So there's still potential upside. Same with Goose. Uh, can, um, canopy growth uh this stock you know we well we got into this for, we were in this stock for a very long time since very long time so but last week the stock was half the price that it is right now but it was on my watch list so if you did nothing but come here every sunday night click on what i am looking at you would have doubled your money on canopy growth every single stock here including box and full this well our, my disclosures were in this trade but uh, all these stocks here um, would have provided you a, a decent return, right? So there's other, my, my point in saying that is to let you know that there's other stocks out there. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just gave you six stocks with potential upside. There's more stocks out there than ticker HMNY, okay? So chalk this up to a lesson. Um, if you're new and you've experienced massive losses, under, welcome to the market, you, rite of passage, name of the game. Well, name of the game when you're when you're a new trader. But as you develop, you're going to get better. Mistakes like this won't happen uh, as much anymore. It shouldn't happen if you're a disciplined trader. All right. So I'm going to wrap it up. Video is getting a bit lengthy. Uh, so HMNY, I wouldn't just, I would let this go. Let this go. I'm not saying you necessarily need to sell. If you believe in the story 10, 20 years from now, hold your shares. But don't torture yourself anymore stop stop going to the messaging board stop looking to see if it's trading it it's not gonna it's not gonna go to fifty dollars tomorrow it's not right in fact it's done nothing but put up um lower lows which tells me that it's it's in a continuous downtrend and then you add to that and you look at what happened today and you know again pictures pictures are worth a thousand words you look at volume and what's dominating selling is dominate dominating and not below average selling above average selling so this tells me that nobody wants the stock right now okay so if nobody wants it you shouldn't really either at this point especially if it's uh sitting here at two cents when 52 week high pre-split was over nine thousand dollars it just the story is not intact at all okay so Short Meetina here from shortmeetina.com. If you enjoyed or learned anything in this video, do two things for me. One, head on over to my YouTube page at Short Meetina and hit that subscribe button. I do I do videos every single day. This ensures that you do not miss one. Then head on over to shortmeetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you.